Ida Ice Learning Center, Extra Energy and Losses. Data associated with extra energy and losses is accessed by clicking on the link in the general tab under Global Data. Distribution system losses are associated with domestic hot water circuits, heating, cooling, and ventilation. Heating and cooling distribution system losses can be specified in two different units, either as a percentage of the heat delivered by the plant or in watts per square meter floor area. Distribution system losses can be specified in two ways, either by using the slider on the left-hand side or by keying in the data directly on the right-hand side. Ida Ice also makes suggestions for good, typical, poor and very poor values. It should ever be checked if they are appropriate for a particular project. The user also has to specify which percentage of the distribution system losses should be associated with zones as internal gains. The losses are shared between zones in accordance to the floor area of the zones. On the upper part of the form, the user specifies energy associated with domestic hot water usage. As a default, the energy is specified as liter per occupant and day, but there's also other units that can be used. As you can see, other examples are kilowatt hours per square meter floor area and year. Kilowatt hours per year, cube meter per day, cube meter per square meter floor area and year, and liters per square meter floor area and year. In this particular case, we now assume that there are five occupants within the zone and that every occupant consumes 50 liters of hot water per day. In the lower part of the form, the user specifies plant losses. Plant losses are defined for both chiller idle consumption and boiler idle consumption. Finally, at the very bottom of the form, the user specifies additional energy usage. These could be items such as elevators or external lighting. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to help and process guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under help, you will also find our getting started guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.